All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you a 162 to two demolition spawn trap on slums. Um, I got quite a bit of commentary topics to talk about actually in this gameplay, so let me quickly run over class setup and stuff like that because I always, you know, get questions about those sort of things. So I'm using the MK48 with diamond camo, and then I have target finder stock and extended mags on it. No secondary, and then I have Flak Jacket, Hardline, Toughness, and Tack Mask with a Claymore and a Tack Insertion. And uh, yes, I am using a Target Finder, and this is probably the last Target Finder video you'll see on my channel because the only times I ever used it was for demo, and uh, I pretty much cut that down only to slums. And I have also decided, I've also actually, I've also started using the Infrared or Thermal instead of the Target Finder. And that's strictly because I don't want anybody to um, have anything to complain about in my videos. So I know Target Finder gets a little bit of hate. So this is probably going to be the last Target Finder gameplay you see from me. And yeah, oh, killstreaks. Um, VSAT, Lodestar, and Dogs. Um, you could replace one of those for the Warship. And uh, those are pretty much the only three killstreaks for not excluding the VSAT. The only three lethal killstreaks I would recommend for this map and uh, yeah so quick thing this is 162 kills this is my most kills on slums so if you guys could leave a like rating for that it would be much appreciated and uh, the reason for me uploading this is because uh, on my standoff tutorial video which is about to hit 500 likes so I had to start preparing for the next tutorial video and it came down to raid and slums and I decided to do slums first and then I'm gonna do raid and uh, basically that's just because uh, I have a better gameplay for slums, and I wanted to showcase this gameplay first, then upload the tutorial so that it would be most effective that way. So that's basically why this video is being uploaded right now. Otherwise, I would have just saved it for later. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the reasoning behind that. Nice little triple right there. But yeah, that's pretty much all I guess about the gameplay, anything like that. I want to talk about one um, pretty interesting topic, in my opinion at least. And that's going to be about the demolition standards and how they've really changed since Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2. And uh, basically, in this gameplay, I get 162 kills now. For me, in my eyes, this is a, an extremely difficult gameplay to get. And um, not because of what I'm doing, but just the fact that I actually got 162 kills doing what I'm doing. And people might you know, think I'm crazy for saying that, right? Because spawn trapping, only get, I'm only getting... 862 kills right and that's that's the problem with black ops 2 man ground war is like the best game mode to play in this game especially if you can get a full team of support like people are doing nowadays and people are just you know just putting up 200 pluses daily with support and um i cannot keep up with that doing what i'm doing right now it's in demolition in this game um I have two 200 pluses. One of them is on, the, on Nuketown and one is on Standoff. And that's since been playing Demolition and Spawn Traffic since day one in this game. And um, that, that was not something I expected going coming into this game. Especially after Black Ops 1, which is pretty much the best demolition in COD history for Spawn Trapping. You know, I never went into a game of Black Ops 1 expecting under 200 in demo. And uh, in this game, man, I'm happy to get 100. I really am, and it's basically just because of the flip spawns that we don't really, we can't push up or whatever, so it really limits our kills, and um, it makes it difficult for me to do what I do, because let's let's go back to Mount Warfare 3, I was putting out gameplay, like if I was putting out a spawn trapping gameplay, what made it acceptable, I guess is the way I should put it, or what made it okay, in, in my opinion, is that I was doing things that people were not able to do otherwise, like, um, you know, the mission video, I uploaded a triple Moab in December, I don't, the first triple Moab was probably, I don't even know, not until, like, two months later, and then, you know, I uploaded the first quad, and the first real quad, you know, was until, like, a month later, and then I uploaded the Scepter, which is never gonna get beat without, you know, playing Terminal, so, the gameplay I was uploading was just not achievable without spawn trapping, and that's what made it cool. But in this game, man, I'm uploading 162 kills, and this is a good spawn trapping gameplay. Um, anyone that actually, you know, plays a lot of demo in this game would know, like, 162 is not easy to get in this game, but 
compared to everyone's groundwork gameplay, it, it's not really that special. And I don't know what to do about that, man. Because pretty much in this game, the only reason I still do um, play Demolition is because I enjoy it. Um, it's no longer to, you know, get the most amount of kills or whatever, because um, I could either do one one of two things. I can go to play multi-team, which I pretty much get 100 plus every game when I play multi-team, and um, in a faster time period, the demo. Or I can play Ground War, which is the same thing. If I play Ground War with support, I would pretty much get a, at least 100 kills every game, and um, probably could get a 200 plus. I think I can get a 200 plus, so um, I would say if you can at least get a solo 150 plus, then you can get a 200 plus with support. That's kind of a guideline so um yeah so that's pretty much it what i want to talk about for this gameplay just about the demolition standards and stuff how they've really changed and i'm not sure if people understand that yet so i'm trying to aware everyone on that situation but yeah thanks for watching guys 162 and two my most kills on slums leave a like rating if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later peace out